why did you decide to create a virtual assistant or virtual expert business? Did you desire more flexibility in your schedule? Were you sick of being undervalued and underpaid in your traditional job? Did you long for a career that's more conducive to having a family because it allows you to work from home? Whether you've been a virtual assistant for a long time or you're just starting out, or maybe you're just trying to decide if a virtual assistant business is right for you. You ventured into this career with a desire to live your life to the fullest and without limitations. That's me. That's what I did too. Like most facets of life, your VA business is bound to weather storms. And today I'll share with you some tools to help you cope when you feel like giving up. Hi, I'm Kathy Guggenauer, business coach and trainer exclusively for virtual experts. I've helped hundreds of women just like you achieve their dreams of working from home as well-paid virtual experts. On this YouTube channel, I show you how to create a virtual expert career and gain the freedom, flexibility, and financial security you desire and deserve. If you're like most of us, you're likely not a stranger to failure. The word, the word failure, oh, can't even say it, has such a negative connotation. But if you think about it, where would you be if you never experienced failure? Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone falls into ruts. Everyone has times where they feel like they don't have the power to change their circumstance. Are you at a point in your virtual assistant business where it's just not going the way you envisioned and you feel like giving up? Remember this, you are in control of your success. Therefore, you have the power to change whatever it is that's holding you back. Instead of focusing on failure, I want you to change your mindset to believe in your potential and be resilient to the changes you face. Here are tools to help you weather this storm. Believe in your potential and rise above your challenges. Tool number one, set goals. In your virtual assistant business, you must set long-term and short-term goals. What do you need to achieve in your business to truly live the life you envision? Explicitly write out your goals and make a plan for how you will achieve them. Don't skimp on your goals. Set the bar high. You can adjust your plan for achieving those goals as successes and challenges arise. However, your goals aren't static. Don't adjust the magnitude of your goals just because you're scared. Believe in this with a positive mindset and the belief that you are in control, you can achieve your most lofty dreams. In fact, you can achieve more than you have ever realized. I know this personally because I have done it. And I know for sure that what one woman can do, another can do. Tool two, Accept the feeling of being uncomfortable. Creating, establishing, and growing your virtual expert business pushes you into taking risks, and taking risks is scary. This feeling is completely normal. Embrace it. Facing fear is what we call courage. Yeah, you've got this. You can do it. When you venture into the unknown, you're bound to feel uncomfortable. Instead of letting that fear consume you and hold you back, use the fear to motivate you, to keep you pushing forward. Work through the fear and stretch yourself beyond your comfort level. That's how you grow. Tool number three, make a plan for overcoming challenges. When running your virtual expert business, you'll come across challenges that you never anticipated. Of course, no one wants to make mistakes, but mistakes are inevitable. However, your mistakes should not stifle your productivity or success. Use your mistakes to help you grow. Give yourself the time and space to process and learn from your mistakes. Take a walk, confide in a friend, play with your kids or pets, take a long hot bubble bath. That's what I like to do. <laughs> Whatever it is, that you do to give yourself the time and space to process your challenges and become resilient. Rise above your challenges. 
Use the challenges to make you stronger. That's right. And keep moving forward. Tip four, tool four, let go of self-doubt. You're responsible for your own success. You have the power to create the virtual expert business you desire. Unfortunately, we are sometimes our own worst enemies. Do you flood your mind with thoughts of self-doubt, stifling your ability to power through your challenges? Often other people, like me, believe in your potential way more than you believe in your own. Take that support and that help. In order to grow the virtual expert business of your dreams, you must let go of the doubt that plagues your success. Instead, celebrate. Celebrate your accomplishments. Focus on your successes. When you stop giving in to self-doubt, you empower yourself to reach your goals. Tool number five, ask for help. So often we make the mistake of thinking that asking for help shows weakness. On the contrary, asking for help empowers you to reach your full potential. As the world changes, your virtual expert business will also change. You're not going to know everything because it's simply impossible. Therefore, you need to ask for help in order to reach your full potential and draw in high paying clients. When you feel like giving up, and believe me, I've been there too, remember that you have the potential to create a highly successful virtual expert business. Set goals, take risks, be resilient to challenges, let go of self-doubt, and ask for help. Want to learn more about how to find, get, and keep high paying clients for your virtual expert business? Watch my free webinar, by clicking the link below. Also, I'd love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and like and comment on this video. Let me know, what are you doing when things come up and you think, oh, maybe I should quit? I'd love to hear your tips.